Good morning. I'm going to show you a box with all different bindings and the bindings are from Keith Smith. This is his book. Um, one, two and three sections sewings. <clears throat> it's one of the six books he has written about non-adhesive bindings. This is volume two. It is a very nice book. It has all kinds of uh, schemes in it so that you can make the bindings. I made this box and uh, the bindings I made are from uh, Keith Smith. So let's see what's in the box. This is uh, the spine braid. It goes over the uh, spine, which make the binding, makes the binding a bit uh, vulnerable. But anyway, it's my favorite binding from Keith Smith. And I don't know if I put it closer, you can see that the braid, there are three of them. The paper I used is Zandsport, which is uh, made by a Dutch paper mill. This is the deckel edge. And this as well. And a nice closure. Oh, excuse me. This is another one I like very much. This is called um, the woven chain binding. Let me see if we have a deckle edge here as well. We have. This is the deckle edge. This is a nice button from my late mother's button box. And soundboard, of course. This one is called <clears throat> Arrows, because Arrows is a three section binding. I um, I know that there are people who are uh, working through Keith Smith books and start with the one section binding and a two and a three, but I only, I mostly did the three binding, the three section binding, because I like them the most. And another button as a closure. What have we here? Oops. These are the diamonds. Also Zan's board, of course. Nice button. And the deckle edge. And here we have uh, the rope. I always call this binding the barbed wire binding because it looks a lot like barbed wire. It's a three section binding and you uh, wrap your thread around uh, the middle, uh, the sewing of the middle section. And it's, um, it gives this effect. Another little button, button and here is the deckle edge. Which I always, um, I always try to get the deckle edge in the book. And then I have a one, a two section sewing. This is this one. I don't know. I think it's called the alpha chain, the alpha chain, but I'm not sure because I haven't done this in a long time. Now for all these bindings, they served as a model during my classes. And the box I made is made by cardboard but i know it looked like looks like wood but that's the paper i uh, glued on it so a box full of keith smith bindings